Hello guys, I'm back again and today I'm going to show you the use of model view and controller on the Zen framework. So let's get started. To create the controller, we can use the ZF command obviously. Like let's go for inside our document root of the ZF demo. And then let's create hello world controller for this we have to issue the command zf create controllers and the name of the controller hello world okay controller been created so let's go to the zf demo project and refresh the thing and inside the controller you should be able to see the hello world controller it will just create the initial things like skeleton things for us to, to code in zen framework and inside the views you can see the scripts under the script it's hello hyphen old like if it's small letter it will there won't be the hyphen if it's capital letter it will create the hello iPhone old is the naming notation for the Zen framework for the view. So inside the this is index index.php. This view is for this method index action method. So if we want to create new view, we can give the new method a new view name. Let's suppose I want to create X Y Z let's say P U V L I C F U N C U T I O L public function hello hello method inside this controller so we have to have the view name hello.phtml so I'll be creating the html with hello hello okay once it's been created, I can rename the things. Rename. Okay. Hello.phtml. Okay. And over here, this is my hello view. And over here, this is my index view. This one. It's my index view. So to execute, oh sorry, there should be Exxon always attached with the Exxon. Exxon. So to let's execute this both method index and the hello world Exxon. Let's observe the things. So on this thing, public. And our controller name is it's hello world. So inside hello world, by default, it will be executing the index thing. So if we want to execute the hello method, then we can simply do hello. So this will execute this method and this view. So if we want to create the model from if we want to set the value on the view we can simply do like this like hello this dot name okay and on the controller what we can do is this dot name Guys, do my name obviously with the Siva Cody. So, if we execute the thing from the browser, it should say me hello with the Siva Cody. Oh, there must be error. So, this dot sorry, this dot over here it should be like this dot view dot name. So if we do like this, it should say 
hello they see what could be so yeah this is my view and this is my thing so it should say hello they see what could be okay now we want to create the model and take the value we want to create the model take the value in the controller and pass it to the view so let's create the model to create the model it's pretty easy on the Zen framework so over here we can issue the command jtf create more model and the name of model it's hello okay once we create the model it should be available under this directory so under the model directory so just refresh here and you will see the model skeleton and inside this skeleton let's create the function public function public with me and the log And uh, name. what it does it is we'll just say hello name and we will set this and we'll be calling this model from our controller for this we will do like this okay this the uh, here that name equals to okay hello obj hello equals to new application and this name name equals to From this mod, uh, this model, it will. Uh, from this model, it will be called, and it will just return hello, they see Bakuti on the message. Let's first undo the thing. So that it goes to this. So. We'll be setting the message on the view so what we need to do is on the view we need to set the things message so we can say the message so what we have done is we have created the model and defined the function with me what it does is like when you call this function it will just add hello and the name so from the controller what we do is like we are executing that method and returning uh, and setting the value to the view whatever the with me had returned for us so on the hello world, on the hello method we'll just we are just printing the message so let's see the example now when we hit the things it should also return me the hello world so like this way we will be using model view controller on the Zen framework till then bye bye